Hello Dungeon Masters. So today, we are making a battle map that can be used for heated discussions between races or powerful beings, as well as many more potential uses. I also wanted to make some of the map out of non-standard items within DA, so you can see what I do when I need something to look a little different or alien to what is expected. Using assets in unique ways can be fun too. I will also want them to serve a secondary purpose, so the innocuous table will also serve as a trigger for a great spell. To start off I will give you the description of the map so you know what to tell your players or have somewhere to start from. Nestled deep within the heart of the jungle, a clearing begins to reveal itself caught between the lush emerald canopy of towering trees and cloying damp undergrowth. The symphony of exotic birds and unseen creatures forms a chaotic background melody. The animals and insect calls intermingling with the soothing murmur of lazily moving leaves in the wind. In the centre of the clearing is a pool of slowly moving water. It seems to be flowing in an anti-clockwise circle. The surface of the water reflects the verdant canopy above and cradles a remarkable stone structure adorned with the regal gleam of gold or bronze atop it. There are spikes of the same material jutting out from all the edges reaching out over the water. The metal intricately lines the edges of the structure, casting a warm glow that dances upon the water's surface. As the pool gently meanders in the heart of the clearing, it cradles the mysterious stone structure with an almost protective embrace. Atop this ancient stone monument rests an elaborate table, a masterpiece of craftsmanship ringed with the golden lustrous metal. The top of the table is made of a thick but masterfully stretched skin. The lightest touch reverberates like a drum. The table's sides bear an intricate carving, telling stories lost to time. In the soft glow of small candles strategically placed around the table, the carvings come to life, casting flickering shadows that playfully dance upon the surrounding foliage. The candles look to have been recently lit, but a simple investigation shows that they have likely been burning since the structure was finished. Four silver chairs, each as unique as the jungle itself, encircle the ornate table, carved with precision and adorned with a subtle embellishment. They seem to beckon curious souls to take a seat and partake in the mystical aura that envelops this hidden forum. The air is filled with the sweet fragrance of exotic blossoms and the earthly aroma of the jungle floor, creating an intoxicating blend that heightens the senses. The seat of each chair seems to be made of a stretched skin. Even the lightest touch makes a small sound in the chair like a drum being struck. As day gives way to night, the candles continue to burn, casting a warm and welcoming glow upon the stone structure and its golden or bronze accents. The jungle clearing, bathed in the soft radiance, becomes a tranquil sanctuary where the ancient and natural coexist in a dance of timeless beauty. Okay, so that description should get the players to start investigating or touching things they probably shouldn't. Once seats on opposite sides are sat upon, and the table struck, an ancient spell is released over the local area, creating a magical barrier of force. The barrier will end if all of those who are seated rise from their seats. The spell dulls the sounds from outside of the barrier, and allows those speaking inside a level of calm quiet to discuss clearly important matters. There is a failsafe to the spell though. If someone inside bleeds onto the floor, the barrier falls and the guardians of the Relic of Peace come to the defense of all inside the barrier as it falls. I will let you decide the race for this. You could have some fun with this by using a race not commonly seen or expected. Lizardmen or Displacer Beasts could be interesting and would limit their ability to communicate with their new wards. 
I would use this map several times in a campaign and would likely revisit it as the players requested to use it for negotiations. I could also use this relic for introducing or freeing a new enemy on the world. By striking the drums of the seats and table, they could free something terrible from the jungle pool's deep reaches, or perhaps by harmlessly reading the inscription on the table to discern its translation. They could set in motion a great spell that forms a protective barrier around the players, but releases the evil within granting the players a level of safety, but the inability to stop what they have started. Do you see how this map could be used to, say, start a new act in a campaign, finish an act in a campaign with a great big battle, or even begin a new campaign altogether? Okay, so on to using the assets in Dungeon Alchemist to create something different from its intended use. As you can see, I've used a supersized golden ring to act as the intricately carved or forged sides of my great table. Then I have placed a large drum inside the ring to act as the tabletop, giving the map a unique asset that also makes sense with the description we went through earlier. The simple compass, made larger, is now a fancy silver side to my chairs that also have drums placed inside them to give them and the table some similarities. If you didn't notice earlier, I placed a small comb on the map and made it giant so it would act as my relic's golden spikes. By sinking it into the structure, it makes it look the way I want. I could use them in the description for how the spell maintains such a large barrier. You know, something like the spikes humming and casting energy from within the relic like small lightning bolts striking between the spike tips or out to the energy field. Even the steps up to the relic are just freestanding stone doorways posed to look like supported steps. What is your best use of an asset in Dungeon Alchemist? So what do you think of this map and description? Leave me a comment so I know how you would use it in your games. As always, please help us make more videos for you. It's free and easy. Hit that like button and sub if you want more. Leave a comment below to tell me what you would like to see next. And as always, may the dice ever be in your favour.